Hey, my name is Andrew Goodwin, and I'm going to show you how to shorten the increment and decrement fade links. I know that was a lot of words, um, but what that basically means is, uh, you know, most people are probably familiar with, um, you want to fade in a track, you can kind of click right here and just drag that to the link that you want. Now that's great, um, but much quicker than dragging and clicking, <coughs> excuse me, is always key commands. So you can go into the key command setup and um, add a key command for increment or decrement. So I'm going to press it right now. I'm going to press it again. So you see how big that is every time I press that key command. It's an entire bar length, um, which to me is way too much. <laughs> uh, it's extremely annoying that you cannot anywhere set the length of increment or decrement. Um, to kind of make it smaller, essentially. Um, but what I finally figured out is that the fade length is tied to the format that the grid is in, in Cubase. Um, luckily, so down here, um, it's in bars and beats, which is what most people work in. So that means the fade is going to be an entire bar length. Um, but also down here, I've got time code set up on this side. And I'll just show you how it shortens it. Okay, so now when I do this, it's only going to increment the fade by a frame, which is a much smaller increment. You see, that's about probably two of those is what I would typically drag my fades to, um, you know, to cut off a breath at the beginning of like a background vocal take or some guitar noise. Um, just kind of how allows you to get in there tight. So the way to do this with a key command is to, you have to have the transport bar active with two different time formats. Um, that is one trick to this. So, you know, you have it set for bars and beats, like what you're actually working in, and you have time code as a secondary display. So the trick is there's a command in the key commands window called under transport called exchange time formats. So what that will do is, let me flip back to that, is that will actually flip these grid formats um, when you activate that. So it will switch bars and beats to time code and then it'll switch this to bars and beats. Um, so you basically just create a key command that starts with exchanging the time format. You do however many you know, increments of one frame fade-ins or outs that you want, and then you re-exchange the time format back to bars and beats. Um, it sounds like a lot, but Cubase is actually extremely quick at macros, um, so watch this. That was it. <laughs> um, you can see down here, I'll press it again. You can't even see those time formats switching. It's so fast, um, or however it does it. But this allows you to get a small fade length, and that was because I undid the wrong thing. Let me back up. Okay, so yeah, so I can hit this key command and get a small fade in length, and you can kind of control it by however many times you put an increment or decrement into your macro. Um, so I hope that helps. That drove me insane for a very long time. I didn't see any videos, so I thought I would share this to hopefully help everybody out. All right, bye.